Hello, YouTubers. This is a new session where I get to talk to you about how to integrate your C Sharp.NET application into a decentralized, community driven, uh, large language model network. It's an AI network that's built out there by hundreds of people that are interested into hosting LLMs and making them available through one API so you can build your application and use your own devices, your own machines or someone else's machine and be able to get a very high value, high benefit out of developing AI applications without bearing the cost of super expensive cloud applications, cloud AI services. So for starters, you know, the network is called Peer LLM. If you watch any of my previous videos, I talked a little bit about, you know, how Peer LLM works, you know, the decentralization of it, but I want to kind of give you a mental model of what you're building and what it looks like so you understand here, um, uh, you know, how, how it works. So basically assume that you have a bunch of, a bunch of computers, really, you know, all kinds of different computers, you know, everywhere, you know, this person has that computer and you have this computer and, you know, they're just kind of distributed everywhere, computers everywhere. And these computers, you know, they're all connected to a network called peer LLM. These are what we call hosts, right? And all of these computers, they're all kind of reporting registration process right like this they're reporting registration to peer llm network just like that here you go like this okay so these are you know the computers and what these computers are doing essentially they're basically making themselves ready to be able to receive requests coming from the outside world so this is prm orchestrator network and each one of these peer LLMs basically have an AI model hosted within. So this guy has, you know, Mistral, maybe this guy has another model, and this guy has a third model, and so on and so forth. So these are LLMs, right? They're just sitting there and waiting to be kind of consumed. So you're, you're making it available for people to kind of use these LLMs. With that in mind, you have all these LLMs. Now you have an API endpoint that's sitting in front of that network. And that API endpoint basically delegates the requests onto that network. So API, RESTful API, just your regular RESTful API. There is no magic there. It really is what it looks like. And then the standard community, you know, uh, led by uh, Christo uh, Detui, went ahead and built something called Peer LLM, literally over the weekend, Peer LLM SDK. And what this SDK does, it allows you as a C Sharp.NET developer to be able to be able to go and say, hey, you know, I want to build my application to leverage this amazing network in here. I have these, these, all of these computers available. I want to build my application here. This is where we are. We are here, basically. This is C Sharp .NET application, right? Uh, built on top of peer LLM network. So you integrate with that SDK. It's just a normal NuGet package. It calls the API. That's the Zol exposure layer, and then it goes down to the network, and it, and then basically all of these computers kind of receive your requests and work with it, right? So this is what I'm going to be building with you today. We are here. We are, we are here. So we are exactly in this area here where we basically build really standardized, clean from scratch, uh, C sharp.net console application that will integrate with PRLM. I'm going to show you how easy this is. This may look kind of expensive and complex, but it really isn't. It's super simple because what this is, it's just a normal API, like just like any API you might be want to using. The only difference is, is that the SDK is making it simple. If you don't want to use the SDK and want to talk directly to the API, I'm going to share with you the documentation of it. Super straightforward. All right, let's 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 go ahead and start a Visual Studio instance. I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to add a new project in here. And let's start with just a simple console application. Console app. Here you go. And then peer, peer LLM demos SDK demo or something. I can run this on nine or 10, whatever you like. I'll put it on nine because it's, um, it's the most recent before 10. 10, is, 10 should be coming very soon as well. And then what I want to do here, ah, I did create it with the whole, hmm. okay. So I want to, I don't want this. I want uh, the normal console thing for that, you know, normal people console, everyday person with the 
let's see here, console, let's see, console like that. Here's a console app. Uh, next, here LLM, demos, consoles, app, I don't know, next. Do I get to choose? Do not use top level statements. I don't want container support. Just, just, just a normal one, man. There you go. This is perfect. Okay. Now you have a simple console application. Let's go ahead and find the NuGet package for it. So here it is. I'm going to, going to type PRLM. It's going to find PRLM. Here's Christo. Here's Hassan. Here's everybody. I'm going to add this in here. There you go. And then I'm going to go back here and start kind of developing from that simple console application. I'm going to develop an interface, kind of console interface to work with PRLM. So where do you start? PRLM configurations. New PRLM configurations. For the time being, you don't have to do anything here. But in the future, you'll be able to define your own URL. Like you, it, it, it can allow you to do that today, like an API key and a URL. But because it's a beta program with some limitations on like the the rates of the API that you're consuming and whatnot. You don't have to do anything in here. You just have to create that object. And then the next thing that I want to do is I want to create the peer LLM client, right? So here's peer LLM client, and this client will want my configuration. There you go, peer LLM configuration, so far so good. The next thing I want to do, I want to create a chat session. And I'll tell you in a second here, what is that chat, uh, the, the chat session is. So this is, Peer LLM chat session. Let's see here. Uh, here is session configuration. Yeah, chat session configuration right here. And this guy has everything you want to do. You basically get to you get to say, I want to fall back. Like if you're targeting a particular host, it'll tell you fall back to that host. You know, if you want to. Uh, it tells you which kind of machines you want to target. If you just want to target your own specific machine, you put the identifier for your machine and it basically finds it on the network. Like some people will go and say, okay, I like the network. I like the configuration, but I don't want to just, you know, send my prompt anywhere. I want it to go to this particular machine. The simplest thing you can do here is to basically just put a model name, right? This is a model name. Let me find the model name right here. That's Mistral. Uh, you can put a role. I'm going to say system in here. You can put role content. You can say you are a helpful assist, but you don't have to do that, but it's there. Like you, you have that as an option. And then what I want to do next is to basically go and actually start a chat session. So how peer LLM works, it works in two ways. You start a session. So it gives you an ID and then you start kind of actually prompting, right? So I need a conversation ID. It's like the anchor conversation ID like this. I will go and say, this is a wait, uh, peer LLM client, peer LLM client dot start client dot v1 dot uh, chats dot start, start chat. What does it need as an input parameter? The chat session, that's the configuration. Let's call it chat session configuration just so are actor accurate. There you go. Great. Now that I have the chat session, I want an iAsync enumerable. What does that mean? iAsync enumerable meaning that this is my uh, response uh, stream from the chat, and I want to iterate over it. Like, I don't want to wait for the whole thing to come back before I actually be able to render it. You're opening a channel between you and the API endpoint, and that exchange will give you the data. You give you the tokens as soon as they become available. That's the beautiful part about this. So I can go here and say stream, something stream, stream chat, async. It'll take a text message, like a text that you need to send. Write a short poem about the C, whatever you want. And lastly, we're just going to go and iterate over that guy. So we're basically going to say for every, for every part that comes, go ahead and write. And then at the very end, just kind of end it by saying, you know, um, session complete or something like that. You can do a... Um, an infinite while loop uh, to kind of keep that going. So you're getting the input. You already started the chat. You know what? I'll do that for you. So while um, uh, true like this, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to pull everything in here inside. 
But every time you do this, I will prompt you and I'll say console right line user. Not right line, just right, right? Because you wanna you wanna basically you wanna basically get the input, right? And then this is user prompt equal right and console read line and then take that prompt and put it right there. This is how simple it is to set up now, now you're completely and utterly in the state of integrating a console application with with a decentralized network. I'm going to show you. So here's the network right here. So it basically picks up. Look how look how big the network is. This is all these devices. This is all these machines, and ready to serve your request. Right? Amazing people. You know, volunteers. They want to really make pure LLM work. So they go in and they did the registration and. You know, and everything is going on. Each one of them have something like this running on their system. This is the host. And it tells you how much memory and who's consuming your network right now and all that fun stuff. Okay, all of that is great. Let's go ahead and run the actual console application. And we will interact with it. And we will watch the network as it's running, right? So this is the network. And here's the application. It's basically wanting me to prompt. It says, user, go ahead, user, and say something. And I will respond to you. And I'm going to show you here on the network. Like, yeah, I'll do this, right? Poem about technology i don't know i'm about technology let's try that one more time go here here is the session here's a user right poem about technology there we go So now it's picking up one of those machines. You can see, here it is. Do you see how this, this particular machine, you see how it's lit up and it's basically trying to answer. So it picks up one machine on the network and then it basically goes and says, go ahead and you know, um, you know, process my request. A lot of these machines are super fast. What I noticed are the M, the M family, the M1 and M4, and now there's M5 insanely fast but you know you're you're interacting i can go and say saying thank you and it will basically go i hope you like this poem let me know whatever whatever and it's going right the kid continues to go and you already picked up a host to kind of decentralized and helps you with your host and whatnot that's how you integrate with uh pure llm you know of course like i said it's in beta so you're gonna get kind of a retry and error and whatnot maybe a host is not ready you know we're still really early stage Highly encourage you to go and try it out. Uh, super big thanks to this gentleman right here, Christo Dutui. He's amazing. He's been a part of our standard community for so many years. And he built, he just rolled out this library just like that uh, in such a short period of time. Uh, I couldn't be more grateful for Christo uh, and the standard organization and the people that are participating in this on the daily. Uh, uh, this is the... Uh, source code it's open source you can go and check out the library you know and check out how it works and the integrations and whatnot you can build it and i'm going to try to provide it in different programming languages and with the api documentation everything so you can just plug and play really just really start your development as soon and as fast as possible i hope you find this session a little bit useful if you have any questions comments concerns please feel free to drop comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe see you soon